guys welcome back to creators of the lost art and this is focus on franklin because this is a very exciting day he is having his very first endocrine appointment it's huge okay what does an endocrine doctor do glad you asked it is focused on growth hormones and growth development. Now we have had to wait uh, two years of remission before Franklin could even start growth hormones. Uh, it's a pretty known thing, pretty common in the childhood cancer world that obviously developmental delays happen with the chemo and radiation treatments that they just have to have. Um, and of course with Franklin, growth development has been lacking. If you'll look right here, I'll attach a picture of Franklin and Adeline. Now what's funny is Adeline is only 13 months older than Franklin. They're very close in age. She is 10 and he is nine. So huge difference in their height though. And now let's compare Franklin and Penelope. Now Penelope is seven and for a seven year old, she's actually small for a seven year old. She's very small, very tiny. And Franklin, again, nine years old, and she is just about taller than him now. So it's pretty funny when you compare them that way. Another way of uh, just seeing his lack of growth is his shoe size. I have not had to buy a new size in shoes for Franklin in over two years. New shoes, yes, he wears them out like all kids, but the size, he wears a size 13 toddler. How many nine-year-old boys are wearing a 13 toddler? Probably not many. Uh, he's just he's just little. He's not growing taller. Um, so, and even to show on our chart, this is something we've had for the kids to mark their growth. All right, so Adeline uh, for 2015-ish. Uh, from here to here, this is how much she's grown in about five years. So, she's very tall. And then Penelope, um, 2015 to here. Lots of growth for Penelope in the last five years. Um, this is Franklin, <laughs> here to here. Um, there has been growth, so we're happy with that. But just obviously in comparison to the girls, just not, not a ton. Uh, we've joked with Dr. Belomovich, which is Franklin's hemoc doctor, when we set up the appointment for uh, endocrine and growth hormones. Come on. I mean, dad's 5'9", so we don't have any great ambitions of Franklin being like a basketball player or anything, but uh, just for him to catch up with his peers would be great. Um, so that's what we're doing today. First appointment, so I'm not sure what to expect. I uh, thought y'all would want to come along and see how it goes. About to go check that boy out of school and let's start on our day. All right, come on. So it's been a few days since we had our endocrine appointment and I thought I would give y'all the results from that. Uh, I want to start off by saying that we've been putting videos out there for uh, about a month now, a little over a month, and we still have a lot to learn. But one thing we have learned is that the best way for our videos to get out, um, YouTube, make them more accessible, more searchable, is through likes, comments, and of course, subscribing to our channel. So if you're watching our channel, if you're watching these videos and you like them, please boop the like button and leave us a comment on the videos. I mean, even if it's a, hey, way to go, Franklin, it really, really makes a difference and we really appreciate it. So the endocrine doctor. Well, really, the doctor immediately was saying, obviously, Franklin needs growth hormones. That's pretty, pretty obvious to anyone that sees him. But something I found out was the tricky part was getting the insurance companies to cover it. Um, the doctor, Dr. Odin is his name. 
he was saying how we have to prove that it is medically necessary for Franklin to have growth hormones. I know, you would think cancer and uh, chemo and radiation would be enough, but not so much. So he had to have a blood draw, as you saw a few moments ago. Wasn't too happy about that. Uh, neat fact, though, is he also had to have his hand x-rayed. Um, I don't know all the medical jargon behind it, but there is certain elements in your hand that show your physical size compared to your age. And when hopefully he gets on growth hormones, that's how they're going to track uh, how the growth hormones are doing is by x-raying his hand. And those elements that are in your hand, it basically will let them know when his body has reached the max as far as how much he can physically grow. So it's not like you can be on growth hormones forever and end up being six foot eight. Just, it doesn't work that way. Um, Dr. Odin did go ahead and let us know that with uh, brain cancer patients, children that have had brain cancer, who have had uh, chemo and especially radiation and brain surgeries, they typically do not reach a great stature in size. Um, the pituitary gland, said that right, <laughs> is located in the brain and it's right close to the brain stem where Franklin has had radiation, multiple brain surgeries. And so he was just kind of preparing us that Hopefully, you know, when we start growth hormones, he'll do well, he'll start growing, but there will be a limitation as far as how much he is capable of growing. And I mean, what I think of is, you know, Harry Potter was only like five foot five. He did some pretty crazy things. Yoda, I mean, one of the most powerful Jedis there is. And we can't forget Frodo, who literally saved Middle Earth. So, so in my opinion, a shorter stature is not a big deal. They can still do amazing things. So we're okay with that. Uh, I'm gonna put a chart right here for you to see. We got his results back from his uh, blood work. And as you can see, he's what, 30% of 30 percentile for growth. So obviously well below what uh, other children in his age are. Um, the x-ray hand showed that he is measuring about the age of a seven-year-old, which makes sense because uh, the picture I showed earlier, Penelope is seven. And so that kind of matched up with what we're thinking. So going forward, um, the doctor said uh, most likely they're going to need further proof, the insurance company, uh, of medical necessity for hormones. Uh, and so we're just waiting back to find out what the next step is. In that process is, they said it could take anything for one month, even two months to actually finally begin the process. But thank y'all for tuning in for uh, Franklin's journey as it just starts with growth hormones and we'll see where it goes from here. Until next time, stay shiny. Bye. <laughs>